Hello, my name is Crystal Rolfe and I'm Director of Strategy at RNID, the UK's national charity supporting people who are deaf, have hearing loss and tinnitus. And I'm here to talk about RNID's online hearing check and our large scale campaign using behaviour change techniques. So worldwide, there's an estimated 430 million people who need help with their hearing loss. And in the UK, we think there are 2 million people with hearing aids but 5 million more who could benefit from them and don't have them. And that's despite hearing aids being free on the National Health Service. So there's a high level of unaddressed hearing loss. That's important because it can increase the risk of social isolation, depression and cognitive decline. So in the UK, there's no social norm for checking your hearing like there is your eyes and your teeth, despite hearing healthcare being free. So hearing loss can be slow to spot, just as you might not notice the light fading at the end of the day. You might not notice your hearing deteriorating um, over time until somebody comes and switches the light on, which is what we want to do with our hearing check. We know from previous research and anecdotal evidence that people also delay seeking help for their hearing loss. And that might be due to stigma to do with hearing loss and age or hearing aids, to do with a lack of time, not knowing the benefits of getting help or systems barriers and there are plenty of other barriers as well. So we wanted to develop a behaviour change tool to make sure people not only check their hearing, but also go on to get help. So there are various different types of online checks. We've used the digit triplets test and the behaviour change EAST framework, which I'll come on to talk about. So the digit triplets test was originally developed in Dutch for a reliable large scale hearing screening by telephone. And it was further developed and validated for use in English by the University of Southampton. The RNID hearing check uses an online version of the digit triplets test that is accessible via web browser on desktop and mobile devices. The user is encouraged to wear headphones and take the check in a quiet environment to improve reliability of results. And we've actually got a reminder service um, if people aren't in the right environment when they find it. The digit triplets test is a speech and noise hearing test. Speech and noise testing involves presenting speech stimuli to a listener in the presence of background noise at a known signal to noise ratio and measuring their response to the stimuli. The test adopts an adaptive procedure, repeating different digit triplets and adjusting the level of speech stimuli to find the speech reception threshold. This adaptive track continues for 11 reversals and the speech reception threshold is calculated as the average of final eight reversals, the check takes around two to three minutes to complete. So we've also used behaviour change techniques based on the research we undertook in 2022 and used the EAST framework, which was um, designed by the Behavioural Insights team in 2012, as a framework for encouraging changes in behaviour. And based on those insights, we look to make it easy, timely, attractive and social. So first of all, looking at easy, we made it easy by simplifying messages and reducing the hassle factor. So taking away any friction for starting the check and making it quick. To make it attractive, we use motivating language such as quick and easy and avoided engaging people in the potential link with dementia. So we think the dementia message um, will really resonate with certain groups and at certain points in time. But we wanted to make the check overall usable for all audiences and with a really low stakes approach so people didn't need to think too much about whether they wanted to do it or not, just that it took three minutes. And then, of course, we can top and tail a dementia message around the check if and when it's appropriate to do so. We made it social by adding a counter to the start page, showing how many people had taken it and sharing options for friends and family um, once people have completed the check. We made it timely by using email prompts to encourage follow up action if needed, including a letter um, to primary healthcare professionals, um, which we had support from the Royal College of GPs for. We also learned a lot from our social media campaign to raise awareness of the RNID hearing check. We tested different social media channels, audiences, images and messages over five phases. And we had 30 different ads that we tested. So messaging on completing the check while making a cup of tea worked really well. So that kind of take the check takes a few minutes whilst you're making a cup of tea. That really resonated with people. 
And surprisingly, um, we found that people were interested in transport were the most engaged audiences. So since we relaunched it in 2022, we've sought to continuously improve the potential impact. So lessons learned from trying to increase the proportion of people completing the check were that more visuals and mobile friendly design worked. We wanted to encourage more people to take follow up action. So the lessons that we learned were that making the options for next steps clearer, having a GP letter, making it easier to download and a supportive nudge email with information and resources worked best. Key outcomes and impact of the hearing check with over 400,000 people completed the check so far. And over half of those um, were, who completed the check um, were showing signs of hearing loss. 50% had actually spoken to a health professional. Who people? This is people who took the survey after 12 weeks and 51% had had an in-person test. And actually 23% of survey respondents had actually had a hearing aid fitted. So we thought that that was um, some really great results. And actually 86% of respondents at 12 weeks had taken at least one action that included talking to friends and family. And that really shows a kind of commitment to doing something in future. So our conclusion is that hosting a free online English digit triplets test combined with behaviour change techniques can be an effective behaviour change tool to encourage more people to check their hearing and take further action. And as well as us continuing to promote this check, we're also keen to see um, a national hearing check and are talking to the NHS about how we might make that happen. We believe that people might be more likely to take action if the NHS called them to do so. Our hearing check is available on all four of the UK's NHS websites. So here's our team. Um, get in touch about the work of our hearing check. Um, if you want a unique QR code to share the check yourself so we can tell you how many people have taken it um, through your channels. Um, and also to discuss other work we're doing, looking at how we can reimagine hearing health in the UK. So there's my email address at the bottom. And thank you for your time today.